Mileage Tracker is a first-class application services or RAD application that gives users the ability to track and report on their daily travel mileage. The system maintains a database of sites that stores the longitude and latitude for each site. As users select their sites to log their travel, the application uses the Google Maps API to determine the driving distance between the two sites and stores it in the log entry. The application administrator can add more sites and set different rates of compensation based on a user classification. Let's take a look at how this works. Stuart Lynch is a teacher using the system and he already has some log entries for this month. Today he's made two trips. One trip went from his home location, the board office, to Hansworth Secondary and back again for a meeting with the principal. He creates a new entry and selects his site, the board office, and his destination, Hansworth Secondary, and because it's a return trip, he'll check return, and the mileage doubles. He enters an optional comment and clicks on confirm, and this adds the entry to his log. His second trip is from the board office to Argyle Secondary for a department meeting, and from there he's going to go home. The first entry is one way, so he selects the board office to Argyle Secondary, not return, for a department meeting. Again, clicking on Confirm. The second leg is from Argyle Secondary, but to his home location. But since his home location is not on the list, he has to add it and then determine the mileage from his odometer and enters that in the distance field and enters the comment and clicks on Confirm. Each time he adds an entry, he sees the total and the compensation due based on the rate specified by the contract for teachers. If another classification is selected, such as administrator, the rate changes and the total accordingly. If he makes a mistake or wishes to delete an entry, he simply just double clicks on the entry and from here he can make adjustments or delete the entry. Stuart can go back in time, for example, to the previous month and view all the entries for that month. If he clicks on the Email Report button, this generates an email which is delivered to his mailbox and it's a nicely formatted report that can be submitted for reimbursement. For demonstration purposes, Stuart has also been given access to the View User Mileage, which gives him the ability to view, in read-only mode, mileage that has been submitted by other users on the system. For example, launching the application asks to enter the name of the person that they wish to view the mileage for. I can type a partial name, and it gives me three matches. If I select somebody who is not entered mileage and tries to open, we're given a message indicating such. Selecting another user and opening will view that user's mileage in read-only mode and it is not editable. Emily Heydrich is the mileage tracker administrator. She's responsible for the setup. She opens the setup module and here she can manage the sites, the classifications, and units for distance calculation. As this is a new installation, no site or classifications have been entered. To create a new site, she clicks on the New Site button and enters the site name and address. All fields with the exception of the Address 2 and Coordinates are required entries. Once complete, she clicks on Confirm. The application then sends a request to Yahoo Maps for the site coordinates that will be used for the distance calculations. The new entry is now part of my list and we can see the coordinates. We can make edits at any time by making those changes and clicking on Confirm to update any information that may have been in error. Emily could continue to enter all new sites this way or she can import sites and addresses from a tab delimited file. To do this she clicks on the Import Sites button and make sure that she has a tab-delimited file with the fields in the specified order. 
She can then either drag and drop the file onto the filing cabinet icon or right click and choose attach file and select the file from her computer. This will then import the sites into the database and we can see 37 new records have been imported. These records are now part of the database. Once imported, Emily must go through and click on confirm for each site to retrieve the coordinates. In this version of the application, the data is stored in a MySQL database, but the application can be modified to work with most SQL-based database servers. Emily is also responsible for managing the classifications. In this section, she clicks on New Class and enters the class of user. Then she enters the rate by which the calculation per unit of mileage or kilometers will be applied and clicks on Confirm. That now becomes part of the list. She could continue to add new classes in a similar fashion. Mileage Tracker can be configured to calculate the distances in either miles or kilometers. Emily has selected kilometers for this installation.